One big one, and it's still Christmas. Ho, 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 almost Christmas anyway. It's December 23rd in Paris. Kind of a sad day. I, um, the apartment that we stay in is in the 10th. And as a matter of fact, it's just two buildings down from where there was a mass shooting um, on the street this morning. So we're kind of locked in the apartment. Um, yeah, you know, events. What are you going to do? In any case, this is, this is um, a post about wine, not about... The terrible things that people are capable of. Um, yeah, so I mean, considering events, we had to have a couple something to drink anyway, calm the nerves. Uh, one of them, I don't have a glass for this because it's all gone. Wow, is a Chateau de Pez 2016. Why did I choose this? I mean, Chateau de Pez is not something I normally try, but you know. With prices being what they are these days, uh, my my tastes aren't changing, but my the capability of my wallet is. And so, um, two things here. 2016, which again, for Bordeaux, for me, is one of the best vintages that I know of. Um, and then, you know, the price is right, and it should be in a decent spot for drinking right now. And it is. It was very soft wine. I was surprised at how much violet came, like, there's a lot of violets in it. Um, that was the predominant taste. And it, it's almost um, structurally, almost pomeroli. It almost like it, there's a massive amount of, um, 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 yeah, a kind of a pomerol style, a bit, a bit more um, um, Merlot, you know, that wooliness. Um, yeah, I like it. I mean, I, I, maybe this vintage more than others. And I, I'm not really a super Pez fan. I haven't, it's not like I've drank a lot of it, but it, this was better than I expected. Put it that way. I liked the violet. I liked the sort of, sort of right bank feel to it. It's a Saint stuff, so it shouldn't. Um... The fruit was very, very, very good. It could have been a little more focused, you could say, but I think that's the effect of that, that Merlot blanket sort of, I don't even know if there's a lot of Merlot in this or not. It just, just feels that way, you know? Yeah. A decent wine, I must say, and the price is right. So from that perspective, good vintages of the Pez, worth, I suppose, can, you know, uh, everything's relative, but worth seeking out. Second wine we opened today, uh, we're not going great shakes, obviously. It's just a Bourgogne Côte d'Or from a producer I haven't tried before, Champagne Tissier, 2018. This is one of those typical ones. It feels almost like it, it's like it's already advanced, um, you know, with some gunpowder. And uh, very, mm, very, um, like, brown butter and pineapple which is almost a little bit pruning -y. some styles of pruning -y have that i think fine to them it's very good it's very um has a nice mineral feel a very dry and almost there's a bitterness a little the little bitterness towards the finish quite piercing um Decent length, too. I mean, it's pretty good Bourgogne. It's not a cheap one, but it's not an expensive one either. It's in the 25 euro range, I think, somewhere in there. And uh, I think it's worth that. It's very, very good. I like it. I'm, I'm enjoying this superbly. Even though it's not really the one I go, you know, I mean, when I when I, when I go for Merceau's, I, I love the floral and the oily sort of voluptuousness of them and this is none of that um it's more on the severe the chassing maybe uh side of things still very very good um just different different style and if you if you do like those if you do like this this style of flavor um this is a really actually a really compelling example in a right price class it's not Grand Cru, never will be. 
We didn't buy it for that. We bought it to make sure we have some uh, white burgundy in the house, which we do because we've been drinking Marceau's. We will be drinking some Marceau's in the coming days. And when those bottles are popped, you will be the first or maybe the second to know. Until then, stay thirsty. See you next time.